Transmog is finally here in New World and I think it's a bit of a game changer. So we're going to talk about why that is, but I'm also going to do a little bit of a quick guide here because some of it isn't necessarily the most intuitive thing in the world. So I just want to show you how it works and some of the nuances. So let me jump into the game and let's talk about it. So there's basically two main ways that you interact with this system. One of them is that you go into your menu and you change your skin as normal. Now, as I do this, you will see a completely different menu. Now, here you can go to any slot. And by the way, instruments are under tools. If anybody's interested, the instruments are there. Now, you might be like, well, I don't have that many appearances because if you look at me, I don't actually have that many appearances. These are the ones that you've actually unlocked. So these are the store ones, Twitch Prime, Twitch Drops, those main sort of like combinations as well as the ones that you've got in game. Like I've got this one from the faction vendor. OK, and while you're here, let's say I wanted to have a look at this one. I can mouse over it and you can see it sort of goes on my head, but you can also click uh, preview. Now, sometimes this preview isn't working. If you click it multiple times, it does eventually work. And you can see you can apply just this one item or you can apply the whole set. So you can see all of the rest of the items that are listed there. You could apply the whole set. As you can see, this was the store bought pumpkin head. But you can quite clearly see here that I have dyed it. One of the main things that has changed is that you can now dye pretty much every skin. There might be a few, maybe like, you know, the leaderboard rewards that you can't or something like that. But typically you can now dye um, your skins. Somebody's teabagging me, makes sense. And you just do that as normal, right? You can go in here and you can click dye and you can see all the different buttons. And, um, you know, I've dyed this one, for example, blue here. But if I wanted, I could dye it purple, uh, back to a different shade of yellow. So you can now dye skins, even if you bought them or you got them from Twitch drops, etc., which is pretty important. Now, the other way that you interact with this system is at an outfitter, there is this person with this symbol here. You can talk to them, and if you click Transmogify My Outfit, you will see a list of all the appearances. Now, a little bit like when you did on the other screen, it's worth noting that the, they're in the little sections. So, for example, I've got heavy chest here, medium, then light, and then there are some that are non-available and you can try and do these little sorts but um, not going to make too big of a difference if I'm honest and again you can sort of see the symbols so the twitch symbol basically here means that that's a twitch drop the little crown is basically that's a uh, prime gaming reward I may have said twitch early but it's prime gaming the shopping cart means that I bought it on the store and then where well, there's no symbol that just means that you've got it a different way so maybe like the season pass or something like that and then you can see the little uh token here which means transmogable so anything where you have the appearance unlocked it will be like lightened whereas these dark ones basically means that i've not got that appearance on me or i've never well not that i've never had it but i've not had it since this patch has gone live so the way i would have to collect these is literally to go out and find an armor piece that had that appearance now i've probably actually had some of these appearances and just salvaged them because you know i wasn't keeping everything I know some people were, but eventually if I find that armor piece, it will then go to a situation where I, it lights up and then I would have to spend a transmog token to unlock it. Now let's talk about transmog tokens. So your transmog tokens are shown here. You can get these in pretty much, I think, three main ways. You can get them from the season pass, both the free version and the paid version, I believe. You can see there's one that I've already claimed. You can also obviously just buy them in the store in the consumable sections right at the top. Uh, the best value for money here is to buy five for 10,000 or 10 for 20,000 marks of fortune, but that, that's actually the same ratio. If you buy any of the other two, then it's two and a half thousand per one. Whereas if you buy five, it's, you know, 2000. Now there is a third way, which I haven't actually managed to do yet. I did a little bit of a chess run yesterday, but basically in the elite chess run. So, you know, you know, you know, if you've been playing New World long enough, you know about an elite chess run, going through all of the elite areas with a big group and basically opening the elite chess. Apparently it's a 1% chance drop and you can get it once per week. I say apparently, I like that is, that's what um, AGS told us. So there's no reason to disbelieve it. And you get like a pouch and inside that pouch is a transmog token i'm not 100 percent sure if you can get that on multiple characters yet i don't know if anybody's tested that i haven't had the time but that's your three main ways of getting these tokens now it does appear to have worked that if you have it in your inventory then you can then have the appearance unlocked and that means you can then spend the transmog token to actually turn it into a skin so if i just go over to my storage let me just pop into windswood you can see possibly here where we have a couple of different helms. You know, let's say have a look at this one, the Hard Master Helmet. Okay, that was in my inventory. I've not actually ever put it into my normal inventory. It was in my storage. I've never actually had it in my inventory. 
But if I go back to the outfitter, you can see in the medium section, it's worth knowing if you don't find it in the heavy or the light or whatever, you need to look to the right section. But you can see in the medium section, I could, if I wanted to spend a transmog token to unlock this. Now, I'm not actually going to do that right now because I want to save my transmog tokens. I don't necessarily know what I'm going to use. But if I did, it would then go into a skin that I can literally just apply and that I could then die. Okay, if that makes sense. Now, there's a little bit more of a nuance to it than this. That all sounds fine, but let me show you this little thing here. So you can see here I am. This is the set that I actually normally have. I've slightly died it a little bit, but this is the one that I had before transmog. And uh, basically, I went to equip another gear set, and you'll quite clearly see that all of my gear appearances change. Now, what it actually is, and this is a change from before, and this is one of the nuances, that the transmog or your skin is now not per slot. So it used to be that if I changed the skin on my helm, every helm that I ever equipped would look like that. That's not the case anymore. Right now, it's the case that the transmog is per item. So this helm and this helm is different. Therefore, they can have different appearances. Now, that's not the end of the world. Don't worry, it's not going to cost you any more money because if I want to, I could literally just change this skin to what I already had. And actually, if I change it to something that I already have and I've already died, you'll see that the die itself is also kept. Now, that might be a bit of a problem if you want to have the same item in different sets with different colours. That's not actually actually going to be a thing and obviously you won't be able to keep the colors because the die will disappear once you overwrite it. In theory though it's very important to realize that it is per item not per slot anymore. Shouldn't cost you any more transmog tokens or anything like that but it's worth knowing. Now once you do have a skin applied it's worth knowing that there's these little boxes over here where you can sort of toggle the skin on and off. So for example if you want the original appearance you would come and toggle off the appearance here. Now I tested this a little bit yesterday and basically even though I toggled it off some people were seeing me with the skin on whereas I couldn't see it. I'm not sure if that's a bug or intended. Now you might come across a little problem so I just said that you can hide one of your skins like if I do this and I click change and I click this little box and you can sort of not see it there you're like okay that's perfect that's what I wanted but then when you change your gear set into something else so let's say I go back to my default one you can see that now this skin is also hidden here but I actually want the skin on this one so I go into change skin I tick the box okay my skin's back however if I go into change gear set and I go back to my human ward stuff you will see that I then have the pumpkin helm so how do you get rid of that permanently I've not unlocked the actual original payment yet because I've not spent the token are you doomed not quite. You can go into change skin and you can simply click unequip skin and it will go away. A little bit of a nuance that some people might not realize. Now the main thing that this really achieves is though that we can have a lot of people who are looking very unique. Now these guys have both got the bunny helms on or what have you but we're going to have a lot of different looks and appearances now and that's going to really separate people from other people and that's sort of what an MMO is all about. There's like a bit of a meme that says cosmetics and appearance is the end game. Well no new world has the end game and honestly having this sort of like collectible screen where you can sort of like go oh i am um, i want this appearance right let's say i go over here and i, I maybe i look at my head where and i go oh i actually really like this helm now some of them actually tell you where they're from some of them will be like oh, i'm from dynasty or something um they don't all tell you where they're from which is a little bit annoying but it is what it is but the fact is now you have a screen where you can be like oh i want to collect all of these i'm going to do that but let's say you're not sure where an appearance is from so let's have a look at something here let's just pick this one. Oh no let's pick something a little bit better than that that looks a little bit cool so let's say you're interested in this appearance i actually think this is the depths but let's prove the point right so this is a, um a risen commander heavy headwear how do you find out where that's from well you can come onto new world database Base. they have added a couple of different things but one of them is that you can now search by the appearance and i actually don't know how you spell this but i think it, it wasn't it's not even a ryzen it's a avizen but you can sort of see i start typing that in and even though it's not here like it's not it doesn't show me the name of it it does show me that appearance amanda heavy if you type the whole thing you can see it shows you these appearances and you can click them and then obviously you can go and see where this is dropped you can also see transmog so what this transmog basically says there are other other appearances uh, like there's other items that drop with this appearance but you can also just click drop by and it'll tell you who it's dropped by in this case it's dropped by commander thorpe in the uh, depths and it's actually i think being dropped by raffle bones right now one region you should be firing raffle bones right now because there's a lot of transmog potential with him now i believe new world database are actually working on like a wider transmog project but it's worth noting that if you are struggling to find an appearance then you can just use new world database overall i think this is huge for the game new world's been lacking like collecting items 
until now we've actually got something and it's all to do with the appearance now i know a lot of people are annoyed at the one percent per week and yeah it's a little bit sad by the way it does appear that you can get the uh, token from expeditions you get them from the chest in expeditions as well rather than just elite runs so you can get them doing normal content i would have preferred a little bit of bad luck prevention i would have actually preferred that it was maybe on the faction vendor you could actually put a little gold cost there as well a nice little gold sink allowing people to take gold out of the economy but you know still getting something that you could have put a timer on for once a week i think that would have been a little bit better but overall i think this system is pretty much a game changer like there's no actual collectible and in some way there's no end game in new world if your end game is appearances there are going to be some people who are negatively impacted like if you play a lot then you can obviously do the season pass and you can do the chess runs every week if you don't play a lot then if you're a casual you probably have like a job so maybe buying some tokens isn't necessarily the end of the world especially considering that it's just cosmetics but there'll be people in between maybe who can't play a lot who don't have money and for those people obviously it's not a great system it's a little bit unfortunate but i don't personally mind that the way they've monetized this a lot of the other games where it's like free transmog quite simply they're in different business models maybe they have subscription fees and that kind of stuff i think guild wars 2 is a very similar system but they maybe give you free um, tokens more often so overall in my opinion big w from ags there i think this is a big win i think this is a good system there's not really any like major bugs with it or anything like that i think it's mostly positive to be fair i'm seeing a lot of people in discords and stuff being like check out my transmog some of them have questionable taste but that's okay and probably i'm gonna do like a transmog competition i'm not 100 percent sure when this sunday might be a little bit too soon because i need to sort of build up a stage and stuff like that but it is something on the agenda i'll probably post like a community post if you want to like check that out it will be on twitch so you can just follow me there if you want also worth noting that today i'm going to be streaming pretty much all day there's a small chance that we're going to get an expansion trailer today at the gamescom so i'm going to be on twitch if you want to come and talk to me about this or that please go ahead and do so there i'll be waiting for you yes you and just you i hope though you have a most beautiful day like and subscribe goodbye